Hello viewers, this is Doc Mountain and I welcome you to today's video. In our video today, we are going to look at ele electromagnetic induction. So what is electromagnetic induction? Well, this is actually a phenomenon that supposes that uh, an electromotive force, which is actually the energy supplied to each coulomb of a charge, is induced in a coil in a magnetic field whenever there is a magnetic flux change through the coil. And if the coil forms part of a circuit, then current will flow. So now you may not know what a coil is. What you're looking at here at the bottom of a bulb is actually the coil. When you have some windings of a wire or cable, then you have a coil. So now what it is is this magnet you see here has imaginary lines that we call magnetic field lines. Now, these actually form what we call the magnetic field. So the magnetic field is actually the area within which the force of a magnet could actually be experienced by anything that is magnetic. If it were to be brought within this region, that magnetic material would actually be attracted towards the magnet. You move it out of the magnetic field, it wouldn't actually experience the, the force of the magnet. So now, as long as these magnetic field lines are changing, according to the electromagnetic induction theory, when they change and they cut the coil, then electromotive force will be created, hence current will flow in that. So let's go practical, we see what this, this, this really is and how it happens. So this is a magnet which has checked out that it's moving with these magnetic field lines. So now when we happen to move it in the ring of the coil, those magnetic field lines will actually cut the coil and when that happens, the bulb will be leaked because there will be a flow of current. Okay, let's, just, let's take a look. Tip. Now, if as long as there's no magnetic flux change, then there'll be no flow of charge. There'll be no flow of current. So this one operates under the principle of the magnetic field lines changing. So as long as they're changing, then electricity will actually be created. Take a, take a look at that. What you need to know is that magnetism and electricity coexist. Well, thank you so much for watching. This is your friend and your brother, Doc Fountain. See you on the next video.